Good morning, children. Today we will start with the second chapter of geography: land, soil, water, natural vegetation, and wildlife resources. So, in the small village, here there is a story given. We are going to study about the story of our two children. In a small village in Tanzania, that is in Africa, Mamba, the name of a girl, Mamba. Gets up very early in the morning to fetch water. She goes out, uh, getting up early and going for fetching water or collecting water. She has to walk a long way and returns after a few hours <coughs> because many kilometer distance she has to walk, collect water and come back. She then helps her mother in the house and joins her brothers in uh, taking care of their gods. After collecting water. <coughs> she helps her mother in the kitchen or the household work. After that, she also goes and helps her brothers in taking care of their gods. They have some cattle or gods. All her family owns a small piece of rocky land around their small hut. They have a small hut around their hut. There is a uh, land, little land that is also rocky surface full of uh, stones, not much good for uh, cultivation. So, <coughs> Mama's uh, father can barely grow some of the uh, crops like uh, maize and beans, that is also for uh, not enough, not sufficient for the entire family for the whole year. So, they have little production, little crops uh, like uh, maize or uh, other beans are cultivated insufficient for the family. Now we are we will discuss about the other boy, other person, Peter. He lives in the heart of the sheep raving region in New Zealand. <coughs> Peter lives in New Zealand. Uh, their family lives in the area where large sheep growing area, sheep rearing area. So where his family runs a wool processing factory because of the uh, sheep uh, are largely available in that locality, they run a wool processing factory. Every day when uh, he returns from the school, but you see Mamba doesn't go to school, here Peter goes to school. After coming from school, Peter watches his uncle taking care of their sheep. They have sheep, so the Peters, Peter goes to meet his uncle, how his uncle is taking care of a sheep. Their sheep yard is situated in a white grassy plain where hills in the uh, far distances we can find in that locality large areas of grass growing regions. Grasslands are there well grass grows well for the sheep and in a hilly region also that is. It is managed in a scientific way so that using the latest technology. These grasslands are managed and the sheep families managed in a well manner using modern technology like the modern machines are used for the, the in the this land and farm. Peter's family also grows vegetables through organic farming. They also grow vegetables. Now you see here, the Peter is uh, uh, Peter's family is very prosperous. Mamba's family is uh, very poor. So Mamba and Peter stay in uh, two different parts of the world. We know that they lead different lifestyles. Mamba lives in uh, Africa and uh, Peter lives in New Zealand. Completely different regions. Uh, different continents, different regions. The, this difference is because of the differences in the quality of land, soil, water, natural vegetation, animals and the usage of technology. We know that why this type of differences occur in Mamba's region in Africa and New Zealand. That is depending upon the differences in soil, the quality of soil, best quality of land and water, natural vegetation, animals, these are all the different uh, reasons why these differences of uh, uh, in land or the cultivation occurs. So the availability of such resources is the main reason our places differ from each other. Different part of the world, we know that the land is not, all these resources are not similarly available. All parts of the world, different continents and different types of climate is found, different types of soil is found, different climatical found, <coughs> uh, climate and uh, other, uh, <coughs> uh, other facilities are uh, available. 
all these are different in the different parts of the world now today we will discuss about land what is land or what are the speciality or how land is utilized land is among the most important natural resources this is one of the natural resources on the earth it is naturally available it covers about 30 percent of the total area of the earth surface we have said it the remaining 70 percent is, uh, is water only 30 percent of uh, land is available and all parts of this percentage are not habitable also even though there are 30 percent of land available complete land of the earth is not habitable it's not fit for living not for human habitation some regions we know that uh, desert regions are there arctic regions we cannot live there the completely northern part of the earth is the arctic region completely covered with the snow impossible to live okay <clears throat> antarctic is a continent completely uninhabited so these are the differences uh, in the land so that uh, uh, different part of the world has different lifestyles or human habitations. So this uneven distribution of population we can find uh, unevenly population is distributed not uh, population is equally distributed on the earth surface. Some regions are uh, very thin population is found, some regions are highly populated, some regions are densely populated. So because of this uneven distribution of population, different parts of the world is uh, mainly due to the varied characteristics of uh, land and climate. Because of the different uh, types of land and different types of topography, terrain or uh, uh, the climatic conditions, uh, population is uh, unevenly distributed. So, in some regions we can find uh, the rugged topography, rough or uneven topography, the land surface. Uh, some regions very steep slopes are there of the mountains, not the gentle slopes. The gentle slopes we can climb, but some regions the steep slopes of the mountains are found. Some regions are very low lying areas where water logging occurs. Very low lying areas are there from the mountainous regions, mountain valleys also very low lying areas, water logging occurs. If in the rainy season or due to flood also water will be covered in that area. And some regions are very thickly forested areas. These are all sparsely populated regions or uninhabited. In such regions where the deserts or the low lying areas and thick forested areas, these regions the population is sparsely found, which means very thin population, very less population, very low population is found. But plains and the river valleys, they are best suitable for land for agriculture. Some regions you can find plain land, flat land, and here water is also available. And through the plains, generally rivers are flowing. So river valleys and plains are best suited for agriculture. So large population is found in the river valleys and plains. So largely population is concentrated in the river valleys and the plains.